Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm on the way to work and I thought I would share something that I find interesting. Um, so there's this YouTuber that inspired me to want to start my YouTube channel and kind of make it a business would be like a better way of wording it. And her, her handle is the content bug. Um, she has really interesting content, um, especially how to uh, monetize your channel, how to get views, how to get subscribers, like all of like the technical parts of YouTube. That's kind of what she does. That's like her, her niche. And I was watching one of her new videos last night. I think it just went on YouTube yesterday. And I'm not the type of person to want to make fun of other people, because um, that's, that, that's not what I'm doing, but I found something interesting with her latest video, because a lot of the videos that she does is how to grow on your channel, this is the steps that I took with the growth I got, and you know, like all of the, um, all the technical side. Well, she did a video uh, yesterday about what happens behind the scenes when your videos or your channel blows up? And she basically said, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm summarizing what she said, but she basically said that um, she would do intentional content to make her get the views that she wanted, to make her get the subscribers that she wanted. She lost her passion for just creating content because all of her content was intentional. It wasn't, it didn't come from a point of passion. It didn't come from spontaneity. Like it was very much scripted and planned. And you know, I mean, it was very business. And it was interesting to me because she was in there saying that, you know, she wants to start putting blogs on her channel because um, by doing blogs, she's able to show people who she really is. Because on her regular content, you know, she, she films for four hours and only gets 10 minutes worth of content. I mean, just think about that. If you filmed for four hours every day or every other day and you, you snipped everything down to 10 minutes worth of content, that is just a ridiculous amount of snipping. I mean, granted, then you got people like me who don't snip anything. And I ramble for five minutes, you know, and it's what it is. But a lot of the reasons she would do stuff the way she did, it was because of criticism. Like, she didn't want to be bullied online for saying things the wrong way or making someone upset or whatever. So she would, re it's like she would redo the entire video four, five, 10, 15 times to get it the way she wanted it worded and to, I mean, just get it to where it looked proper and all those kinds of things. I'm like, I mean, that's great. They're high quality, they look good, you can tell. But at the same time, like, if you aren't enjoying the process, then there's something wrong. Um, and that's basically what she said was, you know, that she wants to get back to you know, enjoying the creativity and the passion of creating content, not just about getting views and getting subscribers. Um, and she came, like, became obsessed with hitting a certain number, whether it was views, subscribers, the amount of paid ads on her channel, the amount of revenue she would make off of her channel. Like, I mean, she just got obsessed with the numbers. And I think that that's like a good PSA for anybody who wants to do so stuff on social media where it's all about views and subscribers and counts is to enjoy the process because if you don't, you're gonna get to the point where, you know, yeah, she makes money, but she's hate. Hate's a strong word. She's not enjoying what she's doing. And honestly, if you're not enjoying it, then you're not going to want to take four hours out of your day to create content. Like, it's gonna get to a point where you, you dread it, and it's not, you know, you're just like, oh, I don't want to do it. Uh, and so that, like, it's fascinating to me because when I first started my YouTube channel, I had all these plans about the type of videos I was going to do and, and how I was going to space them out to where I did a video one day a week 
and then I did certain videos that were holiday themed around the holidays and how I was going to, you know, grow my channel in a year and I was going to be so big and, you know, like whatever my number was. <coughs> and how if I didn't hit whatever, like I was going to work even harder to hit that number. And it became a rat race. Like, granted I just started, I've only been on YouTube for like three months, but in the beginning, like I was... I was filming a video, or at least doing the prep work for a video, like every night that I had the house to myself during the week when Jake was at work, you know, or I would be doing stuff on social media or whatever, like it became a second job and it, it wasn't as enjoyable to do anymore. And so that's why, that's why you hear about YouTubers getting burnout all the time, you know, because it becomes a job and it's not just like a regular nine to five job, like it's it's an everyday job. I mean, not all day every day, but it's seven days a week, 365 days a year. Like you're, you're doing something, whether it's just social media, whether it's filming a video, promoting stuff. I mean, like it's every day. And that's why so many people get so far out on doing it is because there's no you get no vacation, you get no downtime, and if you want to take a vacation or you want to do something uh, different, there's a lot of people that I've, you know, gotten advice from, like, by watching their channels on how they do stuff. They will batch film stuff, like, two months of videos, two weeks, have them scheduled to go out when they're on vacation, so that way it doesn't seem like they're gone, and I'm just like, you should be allowed to take a two-month hiatus and it be okay. You know, or you should be allowed to turn off your channel around Christmas time so you can enjoy the holidays with your kids or go on vacation or just take a mental break and then not have to apologize for it. Like, all you have to do is say, hey, I needed a break or I had really important family stuff or I needed a me time or whatever and I'm back. Like, you don't have to apologize for taking care of yourself and I think that's what's that's what was so fascinating with her because like her big big thing was you know you work really hard you're gonna get what you want and if you make a personal connection with every single one of your subscribers and every single person who comments on your videos you have a higher chance of reaching like a like a higher level of success and it's like some of that is very much true like if you build a an intimate relationship with people who watch you. I mean, as intimate as it can be over the internet, but if you build some sort of relationship with these people, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna build friendships, you're gonna build a community. But at the same time, like you shouldn't have to sacrifice your health and you shouldn't have to sacrifice every night, every weekend, every day for your videos. Like it was just, I just thought it was interesting because she is just such a, um, she's, I mean, she's a really interesting YouTuber in the way she, the way her videos are edited, the way she talks, all of it is, is very much, uh, different than what other people do. But at the same time, like, she basically said that, you know, she, she created a monster within herself and she, she felt like she was being a fraud because everyone that followed her um she was telling them to do the exact same thing she was she was getting she was getting burnt out and it's just like obviously what you're doing your tactics aren't sustainable like that's and okay so the reason it applies to me is because that's how i was getting i was getting to a point where i was doing stuff all the time i felt like i never got a break i still work a full-time job um, I still have, you know, family obligations, friend obligations. I, I'm in a relationship. Uh, I, I also want time for me to just be able to do whatever I want to do or do nothing. Um, and that's how I felt. Like, I got to a point where I was just like, yeah, there's certain types of content that I would love to be creating all the time. But there's so many other different types of content that because of the advice I was getting from the gurus it wasn't it wasn't pertaining to my to my uh, channel so it wasn't important and I'm just like but if you look at like people's personalities there isn't just one side of your personality like 
there's multiple sides and you should be able to show different types of content on your YouTube YouTube channel because you're a person and you have different interests. It's not all one thing. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if that's good advice or not. Um, can't tell you. I, I haven't seen a lot of growth on my channel, but I don't really care about the growth. I don't really care about the views. I mean, yeah, it's, it's kind of fun when you have a video that, you know, hits like 70 views or whatever, you know, but it's not like the be all to end all. Like, I would rather create content for myself, um, for people who want to go searching for it versus to go viral or to have a million subscribers or whatever, unless those are people who actually care about who I am, like, instead of just like, oh, these are the, these are the secrets to becoming a billionaire on YouTube or whatever. Like, I just, I feel like there needs to be more, um, attainable goals and the first one on any sort of platform that you are being creative, the number one goal should be your own happiness and should be a place to express yourself and, you know, to have your own like little little hole in the internet of whatever it is that you want to put out there like it's that's why I mean if, if you want to go check her out she's the content bug her name's Catherine and she's got a lot of really I, I mean it's really really amazing content like if you're wanting to look at like YouTube stuff and the algorithm and for her to explain things like it's very educational content that um, can get you to the point that you might want to be, especially if you're wanting to start YouTube for business related reasons. Like if you have a business you're wanting to promote or whatever, like she's really good at showing you how to do stuff. I just thought it was fascinating because you hear all the time about YouTube burnout and it's because we're on a 24 seven news circuit basically on how we get our entertainment, how we get our news, how we get everything is at the touch of your fingers and you have access to it 24 seven a day, you know? And so if you don't pump out content on a regular basis all the time, like there's some people who are just like, well, you know, if I don't do that, people are going to forget who I am. They're not going to watch my videos. And I'm like, that's more other people's problem than yours. Like if people can't wait a week, a month, you know, for, really good content or whatever, like, that's their problem, not yours. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, you know, like, you had, like, a TV show that you liked. Guess what? You only got to watch one episode a week, and the seasons for the show was usually, like, four months or five months with, like, with, like, fall break. That way, that way there was a break time around Thanksgiving and around Christmas and New Year's. And they didn't start up until, like, the middle of January. You know, they, they didn't start until, like, September or something. So you were in school. And you only got to watch one episode a week. And it was full of commercials. And you planned uh, when to go get food and when to go to the bathroom based upon the commercials. And then you'd have your sibling be like, it's back on! And you'd be like, come running. <laughs> that way you didn't miss anything. Because there was no such thing as rewind. Not on, not on live video like that. You had to wait till the entire episode was over and maybe you could watch it again but a lot of the times you couldn't until they until it went online which wasn't immediately like it was it was you know a few days later that you'd have to re you'd have to rewatch the whole thing so that's why I thought it I thought it was interesting and I thought I would talk about it on my way to work because it's it's sad that so many people um are getting burnout so quickly on YouTube and a lot of it's because they don't they don't set up a system that's sustainable to their life and what's going on in their life like I mean let's just say for instance with me I would want to be able to take gaps in time between my, my videos whether it's weeks or a couple months you know whatever because like there's so many different things going on all the time like whether it's family obligations whether it's working on our, our house, whether it would be getting married, whether it'd be having kids, whether it'd be going on vacation or taking a mental break, like all of these reasons are 
good reasons and you shouldn't have to justify them to take time off. And that's one thing that I think that, um, some of the big YouTubers are finally kind of coming to understand is they're not building a sustainable system. And so, I mean, there's, there's some YouTubers who put three videos a week out. There's some YouTubers that put five videos a week out. Some that do vlogs every day. And it's like, that's not sustainable to your lifestyle. Um, so I just thought I would share that because I thought that was interesting. Go check her out. Um, she's really cool. She has a really awesome personality. And I hope that she's able to um, set up a system to where she is happier. You know, like she still can do the content that she loves, but she is also able to, you know, be happy and get her creative juices going and, you know, be the person she was when she started YouTube because she seems like she was a really cool person. So that's what I wanted to share on my way to work. And um, I will see you guys later. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you would subscribe, I would love it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.